is the land of fire and ice. Iceland is an island of extremes, where people wage a relentless war against the elements. It's seriously unpredictable weather. It's basically like a battle zone of different high pressure, low pressure areas. Anything can happen. Dangerous conditions mean people can find themselves in serious trouble and in need of rescue. But there's a problem. The small country has no army or government program to help. So citizens form the Icelandic Search and Rescue Team, known as ISAR, a national emergency force. They're everyday people willing to risk their lives to save others in the worst conditions imaginable. You're going out in the conditions when everyone else is supposed to be inside. So you have to be a little bit crazy, but in a good way. ISAR is a community of volunteers that responds to calls for help all year round in Iceland. I think to take part in ISAR you just have to be willing to put forward the skills that you have. I sometimes consider a rescue team like a village. Um, you need every kind of person to make everything work. I think it's kind of amazing because it's all volunteers. We have professors, taxi drivers, carpenters, plumbers, office workers, just name it, men and women, all kind of people. It's very hard to imagine Iceland without our association and our teams. Iceland's breathtaking landscape attracts tourists and adventure seekers from all over the world. But that beauty can lure people to a false sense of security. The weather conditions can change faster than anything else. You can have a sunny day, and in two minutes it's a storm. Wind, rain, even snow in the summertime. People are just going for a hike, and they're pretty confident that the mountain that they're going on is not dangerous. They have the lower glaciers, which have become quite a popular tourist attraction, and people are going for walks on these, and they are full of crevasses, extremely dangerous, super slippery, and then they fall over and hurt themselves. Then they have to rely on search and rescue to come and find them. For average citizens to gain the skills needed to be part of ISAR, they go through a rigorous 18-month training program. They learn mountaineering, climbing, and orienteering. It takes a huge skill set. But when you can't deal with any weather, then you can go out and help people. Across the whole country, I think our teams get 4.5 call-outs per day. Our people, they're running from their own work or their family to join the team. When I get called out, we have three codes. It's F1, high priority, life in stake. F2, not as high priority. And F3, easy going. When you get called out, high priority, and you get your text that it says a child, then your heart goes pounding almost out of your chest and you run out. I don't even say goodbye to my children or wife. I can remember one call, a boy got lost in Selfos. All I could think about was my son. If he got lost, I would like to have everyone helping. So a lot of emotions comes up when you get called out. I'm proud of the unity and the fact that people are willing to sacrifice their spare time uh, to help others. The feeling that I get when we rescue someone, it doesn't have to be me that finds the person. It can be another group searching somewhere else, but we're searching for the same person. When someone gets found, you get this wellness feeling. We did something right. They are our heroes in, in so many ways, but in Icelandic culture, we don't do a lot of hero talk. No, I'm not a hero. I'm just a part of a team. I'm not a hero, no. I'm just a normal person. 
I'm very proud of the association and what they have accomplished. They've saved a lot of lives.